Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Brennan and today I'm bringing you many cards with a Spellbinders Stitched Ornament Die Set. I love stitching dies. If you've been following my channel, you know I do like stitching dies. I started off looking at this stitching die and saying I'm going to make a couple of cards end up making nine cards. Now this stitching die has got six dies in it. The reason I keep that little bit saying six dies is because when I use it, I need to know how many dies so I can make sure I return six dies into my storage poly pocket. Now it's a rather simple die to put together and you can just not do any stitching if you're not into stitching. Just put the die, die cut the die and then put a little bit of a background to it with the die cut of the shape of the ornament and you can get metallic die cuts coming through it or satin die just a color coming through the holes where you're meant to stitch you could do that of course i don't do that because i like stitching i like stitching dies so i use the stitching dies to make seven cards as you would then inspiration strikes and i make stitching dies where you can give the stitched ornament as a gift as part of the card so the stitched ornament can be removed and then the card remains as a card. So you're giving a gift with your Christmas card. I think that's kind of sweet. Do stay on and check out how I do that because I think that is a really nice thing to do when you send out Christmas cards. I really hope you enjoy the video. If you do, do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, remember to press the notification bell so you're alerted when new videos are uploaded. I start off by stitching with metallic threads. Now metallic threads are harder to stitch. <laughs> if you're a new person starting with stitching dies, I wouldn't start with metallic threads. Start with cotton threads from DMC. They are easier to use. Now metallic threads take a little bit more work. So you need to be a little bit more experienced before you start using metallic threads. I like to trap if you like the thread as i stitch but if you're not into that and if you're quite new you could easily secure the thread when you start with just cellophane tape or washi tape i'll show you how i end the thread with cellophane tape but you could do it either way whatever that you're comfortable with i'm going to leave you with some music and i'll catch you later
Here are the completed cards of all the various ornament stitch dies. I stitched quite a few ornaments. You saw me create this card. Now this card, I did it on red cardstock, but I used pigment white ink to give it a bit of an ombre look at the top. I just thought it would be nice and I gave it a bit of a splatter with some white gouache paint. I used the Spellbinders Tufted 3D Embossing Folder to create the background. I really like that background. And for most of the cards I used the Spellbinders Mini Christmas Greeting Stamp Set for the sentiments. Now this card here, I did the same thing but this is a green background and I used Pikmin ink, white Pikmin ink to give it a bit of a slightly muted look at the top. Here. I gave it a bit of a contrast. I got silver and gold and used the Scenic Poinsettias background 3D embossing folder for the background and I give it a bit of an enhancement with the embossed image with some ink. Another one here, non-traditional Christmas colors with the purple. I really liked how this turned out with the purple and silver. Again, putting some ink at the top to give it a little bit of a slightly ombre look. Traditional colors here, red and green, using the white pigment ink again. And this one here, I use the November embossing, November 2022 embossing folder. I think it's called the Fan Motif, and you can read it through the subscription. And non-traditional Christmas colors, I love how this blue and green Christmas card turned out. And now for the other Christmas, other two Christmas cards where you can give it as a gift of an ornament with a Christmas card. I really, really like how this turned out. All it did is you create some stamps with your dies and you've got a card that can stand on its own and a Christmas ornament that is attached to a card that someone can put on their Christmas tree and keep it as a remembrance for a long time to come because it's got your name and the year that you gave it to them at the back of it. This is a really great idea for a Christmas gift with a Christmas card. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, remember to press the notification bell so you're alerted when new videos are uploaded. I hope you enjoy making your Christmas cards. I really hope you're inspired by this video. I will catch you at my next video. My next few videos are all going to be Christmas videos. And happy crafting and I'll catch you at my next video. Take care.